Hello everyone, my name is Joelle and welcome to this 10 minute morning slow flow. So if you've just woken up, this is going to be perfect for you. We'll get started on our backs and you could even start this lying in bed. We'll be working our way slowly up to standing. And you may want to be close to a wall or a chair or a railing as I am, just to help us stand up later on. So we're just going to start by turning the head to one side and then the other, going at your own pace, warming up just into the neck a little bit. The rest of the body can stay nice and still for now. In the morning, our bodies are rested, but they tend to be stiff from inactivity. So good for you for taking the time to ease your body into its day. And then we can bring the head back to center. We'll lift the arms up, keep the upper arms on the bed or the mat, and you're just gonna start turning the wrists. So going in one direction, getting the fingers involved. And then you can reverse directions. Just bringing a little bit of blood flow into the hands and the arms and the wrists. And then wiggle the fingers and set them back down. And we'll move on to the legs. So step the feet in, plant the left foot onto the mat or the bed, lift the right leg up, and we'll just start turning that ankle a few times in each direction. And reverse the circle if you haven't already. And we'll just set that foot down and try the other side. So lifting the left leg up and turning that ankle a couple times in each direction. Some of you might know that a while back I created a short five minute video to dynamically wake up the body in the morning and several people commented asking for something slower for seniors or anyone who just might be having a day where it's nice to take our time. We've, we've all got those. Beautiful. And then we can lift both feet off the floor and we'll just start kicking the legs out. So again, bringing a little bit of activity into those legs. They work hard all day. They deserve to start things out a little bit more calmly in the mornings. Great job. Let's set the feet back down now. And we're just going to start opening into our waist and sides so you can drop both knees over towards the right. And then at your own pace, bring them over to the left. You can go as slow as you would like here. Just noticing how these little movements are feeling in the body, if anything in particular feels tight today or needs a little bit more attention. And you're certainly free to try this routine every single morning if you enjoy it. And the next time you're over towards the left, let's just hold here for a few moments. With both knees over towards the left, maybe that left hand rests on top for a little bit of extra weight. And you could also choose to turn the head a little bit over the right shoulder if that feels nice. Or if you prefer, you could continue to look up at the ceiling. I like to keep my eyes closed as I get going in these types of practices and you're welcome to do so too. Beautiful, we can come back to center and we'll try the other side. So both knees coming over towards the right, keeping them stacked. Maybe holding on to them with the right hand and maybe looking towards the left. I'm just waking up our breath as well, taking this opportunity for some deep belly breaths as our inhales fill the abdomen. 
And our exhales hug everything back in. Wonderful, we can release that, bringing the knees back to center once more. And we're just gonna really slowly transition to sitting. So you might do so as I am by rolling over to one side and just using the hands to kind of press ourselves up, wiggle into position. If you were lying down in bed, you could also just come to sit on the edge of your bed. No matter where you are, just make sure you're seated comfortably. And we'll just start tilting from one side to the other now. So going left and right, waking up the side body, maybe coming down onto each elbow, or just staying up flat on the palms. Feel free to get the neck involved a little bit here and the shoulders. And you might even still have the eyes closed here as I do. Wonderful. Let's come back to center. Reach the right arm up straight for the sky, then press it back and release it back down. Let's try the other side. Left arm reaches up as high as you can go, press it back, and then drop. So keep going. Right arm up, and back, and down. Left arm up, back, and down. Take a few more at your own pace here. Warming up into the shoulders, this is a great posture exercise to counter some of the rounding positions we all get throughout our day and then just shake it out a little bit and you might come over to that railing or chair so we do one more exercise before we stand up so just bring the feet flat again you might still be on your bed here and lift the chest forward so our arms are slightly diagonally behind us and you can either stay right there in that chest opener or you might Start lifting one foot and then the other. Just a couple of inches here. This is a harder exercise than it looks. We're warming up into our hip flexors. And again, if you prefer to sit still in this one and just focus on that chest expansion, you're welcome to do so. Great job. So let's release that. And here's where the chair or railing might come in handy as we lift ourselves up. So make your way to standing any way you'd like. That might just be standing next to the bed. And we'll come into a forward fold. Bend the knees here generously. You might hold on to opposite elbows and just sway from side to side. And then as we bend the knees even more deeply, we can roll our way up to standing. And we'll just work on our balance a little bit before I send you off on your day. So feet hip width apart, just start swaying from side to side, waking up through the spine. This is one of my favorite morning exercises. It's actually part of my dynamic routine as well, so if you did feel like speeding it up, you could certainly do so. Just a really nice loose movement. And then let's reach the arms up and down. So just little arm swings here, getting that blood flow going, smiling. And then you might Come over to the railing as we lift the right knee up and you can hold on or you might have both hands at the hips. Up to you, lift the right knee as high as you possibly can, pressing the left foot down through the earth. 
and then we'll switch sides. Right foot comes down, wiggle it out, and we'll lift the left knee back on, either holding on or keeping both hands on the hips. So starting our day with a little bit of balance can help us go into our day with a bit of extra confidence to face the day ahead. You can do it. Beautiful, and let's set that foot back down. Bring both feet together, standing up really tall, reaching the arms down by the sides. And let's close the eyes for one more balance exercise. Feeling into the little movements that your body makes, forwards, back, side to side. And again, you can always hold on here if you're more comfortable. I am so happy that you joined me for today's practice. It's a wonderful start to your day. And I hope to see you again very soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know what you thought of today's practice. Great job, and namaste.